Hey, this is Lasers, and today I'm going to show you a couple ways you can train your warriors to build up their dodge, their strength, and their endurance. These training methods are not required. You can do most of this simply by doing training orders with your military, but these ways will supercharge the dodge, the strength, and the endurance of your warriors. So let's get started. First, we're going to come up here, we're going to dig a channel, make a little hole down to our little area here. Next, we're going to build a gearbox under machines and fluids gear assembly, place it right there, make it out of whatever you want. Then once that is done, I'll be right back. All right, looks like we got the, all that built. Next, we're gonna build a couple of vertical axles. You just need to build one above your gearbox. Obviously, if you need to move things around to access your power source, you can do that. Mine's pretty close, so we're just gonna go vertical axle, go to the second level here, build it right there. And at the very top here, we are going to build a windmill. This will power our first training machine. Once that's done, we'll be right back. All right, looks like they got that done for us. Next thing we need to do is build a screw pump. Screw pump parts are made either from a metal smith or from a carpenter shop. You need to build some pipes and you need to build a giant corkscrew. I already have those built, so I'm just gonna build my screw pump. Right here, we need to make it go left to right. Just make it face away from your gear pump. That, and there we go. Once they got that built, we will come back. All right, they got that built for me. Next thing we need to do is add a lever to turn this on and off. You definitely need a lever for this because you do not want a dwarf to get stuck in there, unable to exit the training machine. All right, lever's built. Next thing we need to do is link it. Link it directly to this gear mechanism. All right, lever should be linked. We can pull the lever, it'll turn off our machine. This is also important because it helps bring your dwarf into the training area. Next thing we need to do is build some walls around our machine so our dwarf cannot escape our training mechanism. We're just not gonna close this off all the way because we need to have space for a door right here in this area. Once they get that wall built, we can put our door in. All right, put our door in and then we'll be right back. Door is in. Next thing we need to do is build some tracks. We're gonna build two of them right here Build them out of whatever you want. I like to use blocks, a little bit easier to move. And tracks are built. Next thing we need to do are build some rollers. They're very important to set these rollers the correct way. Otherwise, they are not going to uh, train your dwarf. They're just going to smash and stop the machine. Uh, so we're going to go to machines and fluid, rollers. The first roller on the left, make sure it's pointing towards the right. And also make sure that it's going at the slowest speed. So first one to the right on the slowest speed. We're going to put it on the left side. Click once, click twice to place. Mechanism, make sure you have enough ropes. All right, for the second roller, we're placing it on the right side, but this time we need to go to the left and we need it on slowest speed again. So go to the left, slowest speed, we're placing it on the right. One, two. All right, last rollers are done. Next thing we need to do is build a stockpile right here. Next to our machine, accept. The stockpile is only going to have minecarts. You can go furniture, type, minecart. Uh, we need to have these out of wood, so make sure you only select wood and then select all qualities. Once you're done, they should bring some there. If you already have some made, I do. There we go. Next thing we need to do is add a work detail. We're going to go to our labors. We're going to add a new work detail. This work detail is going to be lever operation down here at the very bottom. Once you're done with that, I would name it so you know which one it is. And then you also need to go over to standing orders, chores, and make sure children do not operate levers. Once we got that set, we are ready to add our burrow assignment. So burrows, add new burrow. Just gonna do it right here, hit accept. We need to assign our dwarf that we're gonna train Let's train uh, Xanag, except we need to go to our work details, make sure Xanag is assigned right there. Um, you can also, if you want to guarantee that he's going to show up, you can go and unassign him from other labors. Do that. So the only labor he has now is lever pulling. We got Xanag here. Next thing we need to do is flip this lever to get our machine started, pull lever. If your machine is already started, don't worry about pulling the lever. 
Next thing we need to do is add a minecart track right here, add a new route. We've already made one here, so we're going to hit new stop, put it right there on the left, select a new minecart. Make sure the minecart is wooden. If you have an iron or any other kind of minecart that's not wooden, it could potentially kill your dwarf. We do not want a dead dwarf. We want a trained dwarf. So we're going to hit that. Go to conditions. You can just delete these. And as soon as we hit play, he's going to run up there, try to put that minecart inside of there. Uh, as soon as he does, we need to lock this door right here so he cannot get out. So we're going to exit out of this. Go ahead and pick up our door. And as soon as he goes in there, we're going to lock it. Door's locked, he is training, and you can watch as he slowly gets better at dodging. Right now he's a skilled dodger. Give it a few minutes and he will be up even higher. Now he's a proficient dodger. Now he's a talented dodger. And he'll keep doing this until you train him all the way up. Uh, just keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get too thirsty or hungry. If he does, make sure you end the uh, machine. I'll show you how to do that real quick. First thing we're going to do is go back to our labor menu. We're going to go down to our lever job. We're going to do everyone does this. We are going to flip our lever again. Someone will come pull that in just a moment. If you lock this front door, make sure it's unlocked so someone can come do that. We're going to unlock this door again. Let him out. And we are also going to unassign him from our burrow zone. Just unclick him there. He will go handle his business. The other thing you need to do is remove the minecart from the track. So we're going to get this. Minecart, none. Someone will come shortly to remove that. And they're removing it now. There we go. It is perfectly reset, ready for the next training session. Um, like I said, just keep an eye on your dwarves. Make sure that they don't die of thirst or hunger in there, or they don't go into a tantrum. I wouldn't keep them in there for longer than a day or two at most. Uh, but they will train up super fast. I think it took about 10 minutes total of training for someone to get from novice all the way to legendary, which is amazing. The next thing we're going to do is build a strength and endurance trainer. This is a lot easier than the dodge trainer. All we have to do, we're going to build some more screw pumps. Remember, it takes a giant corkscrew and some pipe sections. You can make those at a carpenter or a metalsmith. We're just going to build a screw pump real quick here. Make sure that the part that it's coming from is open space, because that's where they're going to stand to pump it. We're going to pump right there. Uh, let's make it out of bauxite. As soon as that's built, I'll be right back. All right, now we got that built. Next thing we're going to need to do is make a work detail for pumping manually. We're going to go to our labor menu, add new work detail. Scroll down. Pump operating. We're going to hit done. Add a name for this so we remember what it is. And the next thing we need to do is assign whatever dwarf we want to train here. Let's do Xanag again. And we already come over here. Start pump manually. Hit play. And he will come and start pumping that iron. Alright, we got Xanag at our pump. He's going to sit there and pump, pump, pump away. He should leave when he's ready to eat or drink. If he does not and it looks like he's getting thirsty or hungry, make sure you just hit stop pumping manually. He'll leave and go do that. You could set up as many pumps as you want and you can add as many people as you want to that detail here. Thankfully, this one is much simpler than our dodging machine. Uh, again, it builds up strength and endurance. Uh, the only way to see those is not on the skill screen. You're going to go to health, description, and right here it'll tell you what their strength and what their endurance is like. Right now he's quite durable, slow to tire. He's also extremely agile because he's good dodging. And eventually he'll have a, uh, a descriptor for strength there as he builds it up. Now again, these skills are not required. You do not have to do this to have a pretty decent army. You can just do the training thing. Once they start training, they will start to build up all their combat skills and stuff. Uh, here's a dwarf here their combat. He's already got some stuff. He hasn't done any of the dodging or anything like that. These are simply to supercharge those stats and those abilities. Makes it a lot easier to get specific dwarves up to snuff for your military squads or if you really want to make sure a dwarf is really good at combat you can add dodging and strength endurance to his training regimen to make him very very tough. Anyways that's all I wanted to show today. I hope this was informative and I hope y'all enjoy my videos. Check out uh, my channel for other kinds of tutorials. Usually they're pretty short and to the point. 
Hopefully this is helpful to someone out there and hope you all have a great holiday season and I'm really glad you all watched my videos. Thank you so much. Have a good day.